The chair recognizes the senator from Maine, Mrs. Smith. Mr. President, I speak as a Republican. I speak as a woman. I speak as a United States senator. I speak as an American. The United States Senate has long enjoyed worldwide respect as the greatest deliberative body in the world. But recently, that deliberate character has too often been debased to the level of a forum of hate and character assassination, sheltered by the shield of congressional immunity. I think it is high time that we remembered we have sworn to uphold and defend the Constitution. I think it is high time that we remembered that the Constitution speaks not only of the freedom of speech, but also of trial by jury instead of trial by accusation. Those of us who shout the loudest about Americanism and making character assassinations are all too frequently those who ignore some of the basic principles of Americanism. The right to criticize, the right to hold unpopular beliefs, the right to protest, the right of independent thought. The exercise of these rights should not cost one single American citizen his reputation or his right of livelihood, merely because he happens to know someone who holds unpopular beliefs. <coughs> who of us does not? Otherwise, none of us could call our souls our own. Otherwise, thought control would have set in. The American people are sick and tired of being afraid to speak their minds, lest they be politically smeared as communists or fascists by their opponents. Freedom of speech is not what it used to be in America. It has been so abused by some that it is not exercised by others. And as a United States Senator, I am not proud of the way in which the Senate has been made a publicity platform for irresponsible sensationalism. I do not like the way the Senate has been made a rendezvous for vilification for selfish political gain at the sacrifice of reputations and national unity. I am not proud of the way we smear outsiders from the floor of the Senate and hide behind the cloak of congressional immunity.